Welcome to my channel. This is Mbo's Kitchen. Today we are going to cook some pilau. This is, has been a long wait awaited video. Many people have been requesting for pilau and here we are finally. Yes, so I'll take you through the ingredients for today. So here we have our onions, as you can see. Uh, for pilau, we need a lot of onions because that is what you'll need to make your pilau brown. Then we have our blended uh, tomatoes. Then we have our pilau masala. Then next to it, we have the tomato paste. Then we have our ginger. And then we have our garlic. Then here, I've already washed my rice. Uh, I've used one and a half cups, which is already washed. And then we have the meat. My meat is already boiled, so it's ready to cook. Yeah, so let's get going. So now uh, what we'll start with, you'll have to put enough oil, as you can see. I've put enough oil in my pan, so we'll add the onion. The oil is already hot. So we just have to continue stirring this until it gets to golden brown. As you can see, I've used a lot of onions because that is what will make my pilau brown. That is the secret to having a brown pilau. So we'll just give it time to cook until it's uh, golden brown. So uh, I've been cooking for the last five minutes. I'm still waiting for my onions to be golden brown. They have to be well cooked so that uh, the pilau will, will be brown. So we'll just continue cooking these onions until they're ready. As you can see now, the onions are golden brown. You just make sure that uh, they don't get burnt. Eh? So you just have to keep on turning them until you're sure that they're okay. So right now, as I can see, mine are ready. What I'll do, I'll just add some garlic to it and our ginger. So they can continue cooking. Yeah, so we continue cooking the garlic and the ginger. We'll add our meat as well. Uh, so right now I'm going to add uh, the pilau masala, which I want I wanted to cook with the the meat or color. So I'll continue stirring as you can see the color is golden brown. So you just have to stir it because this meat is what will determine also the color of the pilau. So we just cook it for one or two minutes until it's ready. So our meat is golden brown now. We can add our tomato, the one which is, we have blended. Yeah, so we continue cooking it. And we'll also add in our tomato paste that uh, we had already put aside. See the color is already brown. As you can see, it's already brown. So that gives you an idea of how your pilau will look like. Yeah. So you just let it 
boil for some minutes so that the tomato paste can cook. And right now, uh, as you can see, I want to add my rice. So I'll go ahead and put my rice. I'll put my rice. So my rice is cooking. Continue stirring it inside the mixture so that the pilau mixture gets into the rice. At this point, I'll put my salt. I continue to stir. Reduce my heat so that my rice so that it doesn't stick on in the pot. Yeah, so I'm now ready to put my water. So I've uh, finished putting my water. Uh, what I want to say is that you know pilau can be cooked differently you can decide to put the water first uh, before the rice or you can decide to put the rice and then you put the water so that's what I've done so from here I'll just cover it and let it boil until it's ready uh, the, as you can see it's now boiling uh, remember that uh, when you're cooking rice, you have to maintain the high heat until you start uh, until the water subsides and then you lower your heat. So at this point, I just want to cover it with the paper with the foil to cover your rice with the foil so that it boils with it. That moisture will help it even to be brown. Uh, so I just cover it with my foil and let it cook. Yeah, so we'll cook with the high heat until the water subsides and then I will lower it. When you are cooking, you just have to check. You see now I have decided to, to check on the rice just to ensure that the water has subsided. Now I can cover it and uh, reduce my heat to low heat. So now uh, my rice has been cooking for the last 15 minutes or so. So let's check whether it's ready. Yeah, so it's always good to use a fork when you're checking just to ensure that uh, it is well cooked. Yeah, and I can see it's ready. You can even check I always like checking at the bottom of the pot when you don't feel any water. You no, know, it's ready. And the aroma, wow, look at the color. This is the brown color that I was talking about. When you use this recipe that I've just shown you, you don't need to use soy sauce. I know many people like soy sauce to make their pilau brown. But the secret is use a lot of onions. Like for this, I've used three big onions which have brought the color. Yeah, and also when you're putting, uh, I want to take you backwards, when you are putting the rice, remember to put hot water. Boil your water before you put it in uh, inside your pot. Yeah, so now we can go ahead and serve our pilau. So now we can go ahead and serve our pilau. I'm just loving the aroma. You can see the meat is well done. The color is splendid. It's looking very nice. This one is very nice. I just feel like I should have invited some guests over. <laughs> 
so that they enjoy the pilau with me. Yeah, so I will show you the final presentation. Our pilau has been served. It's looking very lovely and the aroma is very nice. I just can't wait to get on it and just eat it. Yeah, so I'll encourage you to try up this recipe. As you can see, the color is very nice. It has that brown, deep brown color. So remember to subscribe to my channel, Boss Kitchen. Like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.